Welcome guys, this is Noble Tyne and I'll be helping you today with a new video about 7 Days to Die. So, it's still an alpha game and um, it's pretty hard so I've changed some settings to um, that the zombies will never run and that the spawn is very low because it's already hard enough. So the first thing you want to do is find stones. They lay on the ground and look like this. You, you need them to make a weapon or first of all a hammer so we need stones we need fiberglass it's just hit a bunch of grass on and you can find one uh, look for feathers and bird nests there's some there and we need a stick sticks you can get by hitting bushes but I don't see them right now so let's, or if you hit this one a couple of times, yeah, it stays. So this is the crafting menu, you're going to use this a lot. And if you already know how to craft the item, you can just put it in this grid. But if you don't know, you can just type it here, for example, a stone axe. And if you click on it here, it will automatically select it. So we're going to craft that. This will make it easier to craft a couple of things. Um, it has quality 1, it's very low because I'm all only level 1 and I'm almost completely naked. So second we need to do to be able to survive is make a bow. Well you need three of those plant fibers and you need about seven sticks. Um, you can also just chop down a tree, be careful it doesn't fall on your head, otherwise you'll die. Um, with a stone axe, especially this quality, it can take a, take some time before you before it's finally uh, falls over, but you will get a lot of wood which you which, is, which you're gonna need. Be careful it doesn't fall on your head. Collect the wood logs. So if you put it in the middle grid, usually you extract something out of it. In this case, 120, 112 planks and it takes about half a minute. So we're just going to do that. You don't have to stand here and do nothing. You can just continue playing while it still runs in the background. So I'm just going to look for some more. Oh, here's a, ho a hollow of a stump. There's going to be some nice items in there. Water, always useful. And here's some trash. Iron arrowheads. Quite lucky to find this so quickly in the game. Okay, um, some cotton I can always use. There's these plants are for if you have diarrhea or if you drink from an, an, uns an unsafe, uh, un unfiltered filtered water or unboiled water, you you have a chance of getting diarrhea, your stunning eye will drain. It's not something you want. Oh hello, there's a zombie. But yeah, he's growling at me. So I need about seven sticks, I'm just gonna make it a little bit more than that. Okay, I'm already in the forest and I'm at the 1370 north and 582 west. Um, right now it doesn't say much, but for later it can be useful to know where you are. So, the zombie is coming towards me and I need a bow, which is called a wood... Um, no? Ah, there it is, wooden bow. So, meanwhile I'm just gonna walk backwards because I don't want to hit him. Because he can hurt me and I don't want to get hurt. If you get hurt, you, it's... That's not a good sound, that's a bear. And if you're hurt, you have on the left above your food and um, and water supply on the left corner you have you can have debuffs they can mean a couple of things like you're bleeding you have a broken bone you're infected you don't want to have that that early on in the game I'm just gonna collect some more stones waiting for my bow to be crafted and again I hear a bear. We're gonna see if we can find 
that's a pig. Bears are painful, um, especially if you find them in, in this early in the game. You might want to try to avoid them at all. You don't want to die right off the bat. Okay, let me see how far... Okay, well, I level up, level 2 now, and I have a bow. Now I need some arrows. Normal arrows you can craft with one feather, one stick, and a stone. Take it a couple of times and you'll craft it as many as times as you clicked it. Um, well, one feather, one stick, and one stone gets you five arrows. Which, if I now go to my bow, press R to load it, I can now start killing. You shoot them, shot them in the head. They're usually dead in one go. And to get to shoot headshots, you just have to aim a little bit above the point of the arrow. Oops, that's okay. Um. I'm gonna see if I can find some more stones. Okay, so let's see if we can find some shelter. Um, I set the settings to an hour for a day and 18 hours of light. That's useful, we can bring that. So we do have quite some time to find shelter, but I have no idea where I'm going and what route it's steep. So I'm just gonna keep heading west. Ooh, let's see if she has some. Let's miss. Let's see if she has some medicine on her. Blood drain kit. With that item, you can drain your blood and later make it into the first aid kit. But it's completely useless. Useless right now. So this kind of type of ground is clay. I'm not sure if you're gonna find it later. Have to hurry. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh. Lucky stagger. But now I don't know which here it was. We need clay later to make molds for iron, scrap, um, steel, basically everything. But okay, never mind. Staying too long. So I made some sticks, but I still need stones. It's better to just gather them right at the start and have some for later, rather than have to walk into a field with full zombies and having no arrows ready. Here's some more here. Oh, bird nest. Nothing. Sometimes they're empty and you just have bad luck. Um, no, ooh, two birds nest next to each other. An egg, chicken boil later, and more eggs. As you can see, my my axe is almost broken. It has durability. So we can fix that in a moment. So sound is very important, you can hear zombies, you can hear um, dogs, they are alternating, you, you can hear bears coming, they growl or they... You just know whenever there's something close or when it's all quiet. So keep an eye out, keep listening for, for zombies or, or anything. Okay, but I want to have. Oh, there we go. Some more arrows. 
slope them in with iron. And to keep looking for stones. We don't need wood at the moment. More stones. That's a herd. You can I can shoot the herd for for meat, but um, raw meat will attract zombies um, directly to me, and I don't really want that. So if I crouch with control, it says undetected or hunted or, or smelled or. So right now, there's no one looking for me, which is nice. But if you keep getting smelled, zombies attacking the herd. Yeah, about bears. No oh, major leg spike. Bears also attack zombies, which is nice. Level three. More stones. And cotton. I actually think I picked it up, but it doesn't matter. All right. Let's see how far my all my arrows are done. I have. 31, 34 stones, but I don't have sticks, so I need to make some sticks. There we go. Let's continue north for a, moment, for a while, because I need to find shelter. Especially at night, it will get really, 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 really dark. That's a bear. I'm going to see if I can find it. Because knowing there he is. That's a bear and you do not want him to attack you. Or at least not yet. No, it's not following me. Good. So let's continue. Um over here you can see that the ground is a little bit lighter, it means there's clay. I could just try like trying to mine before, but I horribly failed at it. Yeah, some and if you might see in the right corner, um, my arrow sign changed it to a bullet sign. It's a glitch, I, th I guess. Like I said before, it's still an alpha game. It's pretty cool though, but there are some glitches here and there. So it's snowing right now and makes the ground a little bit white. Obviously, because it's snow. But this can disappear in an instant, so. Hmm, more wood. Always useful. I'm trying to make a little bit of haste because I want to find shelter before night. I heard all the footsteps. There are waves in this game, so all of a sudden you can see a wave of dogs, those are annoying, or a wave of zombies approaching you or, or going past you. It's best to use a gun. Well, now my energy is depleted and you hear the big sign and I can't run for a moment, so it gives me a chance to create more arrows, and it takes one and a half minutes. After that, I'm going to repair my X because it's almost broken and I don't really want to make a new one. If you do want to make a new one, there's a chance it um, the quality will be better, but you're basically throwing a good X away. So this is the path I took. You can hear a zombie approach. It is possible that um, when you start the game, that tap is your inventory and I is your um, score list. You can change it in the in the options. Usually, it, it always was I, but since Alpha 12, it, that's what I meant. It's just gone all of a sudden. Since Alpha 12, some of the controls are a little bit messy. They added a lot of controls and. Ok, 
Okay, I think the other no, almost done. Put it there. I put it in the in, in the options that I lose if I die I lose everything except for my tool belt. So I'm putting the most important things in my tool belt so that if if I die I don't lose the most important stuff. So here's a road and I think I'm gonna follow it for a bit. After killing these zombies. So you're probably wondering why I just don't start crafting weapons and you know, better tools like steel pickaxe. Well simply because I can't. And I need books, I need books, 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 books. I can't do a thing without the proper book. That will give me a scrap iron, put this here, I could get two. I'm not gonna make a mine anytime soon, so let's craft that. And that's brass. Let's do the same with this. Mm. So to repair items, here it doesn't say anything. Here it says it can be repaired with a small stone. So we're gonna do just do that. Put some in. Not sure how many it takes. Just one. Not even one. And now it's fully repaired. So let's follow this road. It's a big hill. Oh, another leg spike. But if I press this button, you'll see that I have quite nice FPS. I have mode settings on high, not all of them because the game is quite heavy if you put everything on, you know, on high or extra high or ultra. can't remember what it was. Let's just take it. And there's a nurse, maybe she has some more interesting items. Does she? Yes, she does. She has a bandage with cures. I don't want you. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's just a rock. Sometimes you can find the bags, purses, you know. Backpacks, duffel bags, which can also contain nice items. So that's basically what I'm looking. For. This is a fatty. He doesn't die from just one arrow in the head. Because he needs three. Yeah. And ooh, he gives food, and that's something I don't need yet. Okay, you run a die. Okay, maybe you don't. Maybe you hear this buzzing sound and that's an it's a bee. Annoying as hell, but I don't see him yet. Oh there he is. And you can sh shoot him. No, oh, more of them. So once they notice me, they go in attack mode, which I'm hoping for actually. It's easier to create a shooting now. Okay, never mind, I'm just wasting arrows. Let's just continue, there's some blood on the floor. Nice hills. I hate the sound of the bee, but I can't get to him. So far, I've not found any building, and it's already it's already two p.m. So let's just see. I can hear some zombies hitting. 
experience something. So I'm going to see if I can find more what they're hitting at. Eh, it's a bear. Never mind. I want nothing. I don't want anything to do with that. So these tokens can be made from, from scrap iron, which is nice. And then we got a lot. I'm not really a big fan of snow. So if these annoying monsters, but. That's a bear and he's... Okay. That is a uh, steep. No, no zombie. I don't want to die, so I'm just going to ignore everything I see in the ground right now. Oh, look, there's a house. If I can kill everyone around it, maybe I can take shelter in it. Well, until I found what I really need. What's this? Oh, nice, nice. Okay, it's very steep, but this is a cave which usually holds some nice materials like iron, lead. Can we mine? I just don't have the right equipment for it yet. It's also for a first aid kit. Okay, so let me just see if there's anyone around the house. I don't think so. So this house is locked. I can't get in. I can just smash it open. There's someone inside, it seems. Yes, there is. So I'm gonna take my bow. And them. So first I want to do is check everything for items. So it's empty, 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 empty. Well, that's a shame. Maybe some here. Beans, empty can. Pipes. Pipes I need for the forge, but I first need the book. Look, a bookcase. Is there a book in it? Yes, there is. A pistol book. Learns how to assemble a pistol. Now I'm gonna learn that, and it will tell me I can now craft a pistol. And that's it. Parts. So I can't do much with the parts, I can use this one. But that's about it. Some medicine cabin. Something exploded outside. Let me take a look. Yeah, um, well, right. Um, if you kill a zombie, it eventually turns into a big squash. It makes a yucky sound. You can hit it and it disappears. And it's gone. Am I going to stay here tonight? I don't think so. Let's quickly craft some iron, some brass to make some inventory. I don't need that for now. that much useful items but it's not again a beer it's not following me good and there's some little candle here 
Let's just kill all the zombies and see what we can find. Usually once you start killing zombies, everyone else starts attacking you. Ooh, there's another cabin up there. But I guess I'm lucky because they don't start attacking me yet. So if you're not really that new to the game, but you haven't played Alpha 12 you or 11, you're usually able to craft a crossbow, but you need forged iron for that now, which obviously I cannot make yet. So that's why I'm having the bow with sticks. Some trash. Ooh, gunpowder. Can be useful later. Nope. Not like that. And let's see what we can find. Painkillers. And I don't want the duct tape yet. Let's see a cool box. Food. But this smells. No, no, it doesn't smell. Alright, good. Some food. Oh, uh -huh. It's better than nothing. Awesome. And I can hear zombies. I don't see them. There she is. Yeah. I'm gonna my bow. She's a tough one. Yes. Let's see. Uh, Painkiller and a glass bottle. Let's see what the car holds. A headlight. Ooh, and something, something very much more interesting. Let me just stand on here. Because I found a fire axe, which is much, much better than a stone axe. I'm not gonna throw the stone axe away just yet, because I have some use for it. Also, I cannot repair the, the fire axe yet. And I found a headlight, which I can craft into a mini body. Shoot it, it just won't let you. And to fix that, I need sticks next to it. It's taking six seconds. Okay, and now I can shoot it again to kill the remaining zombies. Yes, no, we should be behind me. That's one down. Two down. And the last one's pretty heavy. So let's see if we have something useful. Not really, but it's better than nothing. There's a crawler here, it can be annoying. Because you can barely see them through the grass. Mm. I thought there was another zombie somewhere. Shotgun slug schematics, that's really nice. Let's see. 
You can learn them by putting them in your hand and press right mouse button. Now I can make shotgun slugs. Not that I have any use for them because I don't have the weapon yet, but everything at a time. So with this, wait, what? there he is. I knew I wasn't crazy. Go ahead and die. With fire axe you can smash through this stuff much quicker. It's smaller than the house before, but that doesn't really matter. Let's just see nothing really interesting here. Nope. There's a bed that I cannot use yet. And nothing really. Ooh, alcohol in this splint. I'm just gonna keep that here for now. First, I'm gonna clean up my inventory a little bit. I want cooking pots so I can cook water. I actually need clay to be able to craft arrows. Let's see if I can... Here it is. I know I'm using a fire axe. Actually, I think I can make it... And shuffle. So shuffle, yeah. This is new because it wasn't... The only thing, only shelf you could make was an iron, but I guess. I hear a bear, but it's nowhere in sight, so I guess I'm fine. And now you have clay. Put it in the middle spot to be able to get chunks of clay which we need. I don't want to pick it up, I don't have any use for that. No. Ooh, that's dirty. You can even pop the top and the bird's nest in the neck. You just never know what to find, what you're gonna find. Okay, so if I do this, I get an iron ignite mold. I don't have a furnace yet, so I don't want that. But this this solo arrow, iron, iron arrow, I can make five iron arrows, but I don't want that. I want to have more of them. I'm gonna make a mold of, out of it. And let's scrap everything. I don't know if you have anything more to scrap. So the only thing I'm gonna do now is craft a chest, a secure storage chest. Put it somewhere. So with the left mouse button I can alter it. If I really want it, I can also place it at the, at the wall. Now it's locked because I'm playing a multiplayer server, you just don't know my server. Um, if I hold E, I can unlock it, I can put a pin on it, or I can look at it. I want to have it unlocked because I, well, I just want to have it unlocked. So I'm going to put everything interesting here so that if I die, at least I know where to find it. Um, so don't mind the order in which I put it. At, put everything here. Because I have a weird way of ordering my chests. That's by nature. Food, tools, food. I actually have two cooking pots and I only need one. It was very useful for later for when I finally have guns. So this gunpowder arrows over there. I'm just gonna put everything 
Mm. Head pipe, which I'm very lucky to find. Put this over here. And I guess that's all it for this episode, and I will see you next time.